There's been a lot of talk lately about disruption in the practice of law and whether or not law firms need to innovate to meet client needs and client demands. And there's been great arguments on both sides that the disruption is temporary or it's fad-like and that uh, the, the services that lawyers deliver will always be needed. And I think the debate, there's good arguments on both sides and the debate misses the real point, which is that disruption does not come from industry. Disruption will not come from law firms. Disruption comes and is already coming from our customers, from our clients. We have to not look very far to understand this and how it's affected other industries around us and understand how those very industries are affecting what our clients are expecting from us. I was a MTV generation baby. I grew up hearing those words, I want my MTV. Customers wanted to consume television differently. And I want my MTV led to a revolution in the way that we receive television into our homes that has lasted and endured forever. And it's just changing now into other ways that are being disrupted by those very same people, people who want to get their services in a different way, much like our customers do. Netflix is one of the latest iterations. So you had video stores that served videotapes to people, and that business model worked for a really long time. And then Netflix did not come along and disrupt that market. Netflix recognized the disruption that was already happening. People were getting their videos by sharing with each other and then by sharing online through services like Napster and BitTorrent and other illegal and, and quasi-legal services and, and peer sharing that allowed them to get their services. And Netflix recognized this and delivered them first by DVD and then online and other competitors like Blockbuster were not able to keep up. iTunes is the same story. They just recognized how people were getting their music and made a business out of it. Hotel industry, Logic, so TV hasn't gone away, music hasn't gone away, lodging hasn't gone away, but disruption is happening as people, their customers recognize that there are other ways to share and, and, and have, find lodging through Airbnb, couch surfing, window, and other services. And again, this is just about how customers have found a different way and hotels are now responding. Restaurants are responding by, by signing up for Seamless Web so you can order your food online and get it fast. ATMs. ATMs are a perfect example. When I was young, we used to have, before we went on holiday, we had to stop by the bank to be sure that we had enough cash to last through the entire holiday. Sometimes we bring checks as a backup. You, can go, you could go to hotels or American Express uh, storefronts to actually cash a check so you'd have enough cash. And if you wanted to know how much money you had in the bank on a Saturday morning, you waited until Monday morning to find out because you could call or go by the bank to get that information, but it wasn't available to you. Our clients are not used to doing business this way anymore. Nobody, not you, not me, not anyone, would tolerate waiting that long to find out what our bank balance is, to find out what our medical report results are. We expect our doctors to have a portal. We expect to get information when it's convenient for us, and our clients have that expectation with every other service they do business with, they are beginning to have that expectation with us. It's about the client. Another great example. There is a problem in the way that we access transportation. Waiting at an airport in the rain for an hour, an hour and a half, or waiting outside in New York City on a street corner while it's snowing on you was not a great way to get that service. And so having a service where you could order that online became a customer disruptive business that was recognized by Uber by rideshare, by Lyft, and by others. These businesses, again, are exploiting a change in the way that transportation services are delivered. If you don't recognize the change, you become like Blockbuster or like Borders, where you try to hold on to a business model that was serving you well without recognizing that your clients want it delivered in a different way. Lawyering is not going out of style. The practice of law is a very important enterprise, and people need our services more than ever. They just want them delivered differently. And when we recognize that in addition to being a practice and a noble one, that law firms are a business and need to be responsive to their clients, we will understand that disruption is the way to our salvation and that the need for lawyers will grow ever larger. Businesses like Netflix, like Hulu, are not going out of business. Apple is not going out of business. Hotels are not going out of business. And lawyers are not going out of business. With all due respect to Richard Susskind, it's not the end of lawyers. It just might be the end of lawyering as we know it.